All right, guys, welcome back. This is Charlie Seek Zulu with another episode of Hogwarts Lovely uh, Legacy. Hopefully, with a hundred percent less zombies. Now, make that two hundred percent. I want last episode to disappear. Fuck zombies. Those loyalists deserved what Couldn't they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where off. it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The Loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? So, so well, you got to recap. They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Oh, we got a bit of a recap for so uh, because for whatever reason the save defaulted back to there. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the ministry isn't doing more. <gasps> Revelio. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. Something over there. A chest. That's more important than finding anything about your sister. Ooh, fancy cape. That might be fun to put on. Even if it is shit. Whose home was this? A bit abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. Yes. But that's all I ever heard. And it might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. And for those who uh, remember, this is the village where that girl came from the fifth year, if I'm not mistaken. It's all the ancient magic. So, lots of uh, fun bits here. This well looks familiar. Yep. Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Rebellion. You gotta find the last item first. Ooh, and a little chest. Of course. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Repair her! Oh, that didn't repair her. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl, and a drought. The Keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the Keepers. The Keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. 
you have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. There's a stairwell down here. Lumos. Ah, oh, great. More of these. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. Lumos. It is my second week in the camp. More arrive each day. The muggle doctors and even some of our own healers are doing what they can for them. The grief is palpable. The ones who have survived the plague are forever damaged by their loss. A fever may pass, the skin may mend and scar, but the devastating sorrow remains. I saw a man much like my father who had lost a child. I couldn't bear it. I longed to give him some shred of relief. I'm beginning to think that the others are wrong. I have the power to help these souls. Seems as it seems as arbitrary not to help them as it would be to rid them of their torment. A journal entry of Isadora's. I should hold on to this. As well as journal entry number two. I traveled here to learn, but I longed to help. My internal struggle is overwhelming. It's as though the magic wants to heal, and I am the one preventing it from doing so. Should I lose hope? Will I forever regret not having done more? I cannot look into their eyes knowing that I could have lessened the burden of heartache. I saw the man leaving camp today, the one who reminded me of my father. Surely it wouldn't hurt to help him. I could further my research, of course, but that would be a fortuitous con consequence of doing something good with this ability. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Rebellion. Lumos. Confringo. Rebellion. Lumos. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. I know it sounds strange, but... Honestly, I... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true, and I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait, we can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can. But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. I'm tempted to hold Lumos. my breath. I don't see any other notes. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look.
Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Anything helpful in the note? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not? Is it connected to our common room? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. I'm glad we helped Sebastian. Here they are. He was a good guy in the end. But time to head on out. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I do not know how I feel. Uh, let us see. What's next? do our LSD dream and follow those butterflies I think would be fun. Give us hopefully a bit of like a levity. Who knows? It's the Forbidden Forest after all. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, the worst place ever. Incendium. Fuck up. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Hold on. Oh, butterfly. Oh, let's track these butterflies and hopefully there's... Back in the forbidden forest. Oh gosh, where are these damn butterflies? <laughs> there they are. He wasn't making it up. Uh, yep, I'm definitely on LSD. Fuck me. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willard's he might get an answer about these butterflies. Let's cross the bridge. <sighs> no, fuck it, we're taking the water path. Okay, they're going back across. Good to know. Go uphill, so we have to go back. Oh, fucking LSD butterflies. Alright, where do these LSD butterflies go? LSD butterflies, where are you? This. Well, well. Look what we have here. Oh, the LSD helped me find loot, so I guess it's all right. That's 
let's go. We gotta clear some shit out. Can bring them. Spiders for me. There are big spiders. Or I'll see butterflies for me. There are big spiders. There's a victory that came none too soon. Ugh. Yeah, I agree, buddy. Let's clear the forest. That just seems normal. And it seems completely normal. I'm not gonna question it at all. Rebellion. Ali Hosti Fudge. Made with the leaves of the Ali Hosti tree, the fudge is a delightful confection that causes uncontrollable laughter. Who wants some fudge? I do want some fudge. Let's jump around some more. Ah, yeah, fuck it, we're flying. I don't feel like fast traveling there. Because I want to talk. Though I don't think I'm going to get much time to talk. Uh, I do, have a, I do want to say, Sebastian has so far been one of my best. He's been the biggest bro. And I have enjoyed the time with him and his little quest. Seems interesting. Doesn't help that he teaches me spells. Uh, but among Once all the other ones, he's the only one who hasn't seemed really grumpy, acted like a horrible person, or been a little baby. I'd like to see a bit more of Ominous. I think he's interesting. Uh, the Weasley kid I like. I like so far the Hufflepuff and the Ravenclaw ones I haven't been the biggest fan of. Also the other Slytherin, whatever the chick's name is. But that is I like her then I don't. Just one after the other. Butterbeer barrels. These barrels contain the popular wizarding drink Butterbeer. It's served both cold and hot and has a slight alcoholic contact that seems to impact health selves much more than humans. Nice. Got a level. Glad you came. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me. Yes, I goddamn do. So shut the hell up. Hello, Miss Willardy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. Almost like this is not RPG. <gasps> Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see. Should I dare? Thank you. We got a flower box. All right. Hello, Sorona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? I did, thank you. We had a good conversation. He sends you his best. Glad to hear it. I shan't ask for details of your little chat, and I'll refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be, whatever your plans. 
I... Of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something? I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favour for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband, Aidan, was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, um, full of old letters and such. <laughs> Why does Mrs. Sprottle keep a supply of Wiganwell potion on hand? Dot's a skilled potioner. She's been supplying travelling vendors with Wiganwell potion. An ordinary precaution that has, unfortunately, become a necessity, what with Ranrock's loyalists disrupting the trade routes. I don't really care about I'll the try to go letters. and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Doc can tell you where he might have dropped it. Yeah, I'll be perfectly honest with you. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. I've, uh, Please do give Dot my love. I have dropped, left stuff in so many places that there is nothing like, <laughs> there's nothing suspicious. Oh, I left a box of letters. Yeah, probably. I probably have left <laughs> far more stuff. Revelio. It was a mistake parting ways with me. Depulso. Oh, that was Depulso. Wrong spell. Accio. Don't mind me. Mr. Barnes. Sir, is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. Look that mustache. And no, it is not. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. He cut me out of our herbology supply business, just as we were getting started. Hm. Said I was too volatile to work with. I'll show him volatile. That must have been frustrating for you. Yes, yes it was. Terribly. I'm simply passionate about my work. Supercilious fool. He's passionate about things too, as I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. A venomous tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect a student. Hmm. How would you feel about committing some grand plant larceny? What else is in Mr. Lawley's cellar? All of Lawley's herbology supplies. He has quite the collection. Fill your pockets while you're there. Or to slow him down for a bit. And I can get my business going minus any competition. Why do you need Mr. Lawley's venomous tentacular in particular? Simple. If I have it, then Lawley doesn't. Ergo, I can launch my business, and he must start all over again. I'm killing two snidgets with one stone. Yeah, fine with me. I'll get the venomous tentacular for you. Marvellous. I know a fellow seeker of justice when I see one. Take as many herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar. All I ask is that you bring me the venomous tentacular. That works Remember, for me. I just need that venomous tentacular. Uh, hopefully, it's another one because I do need one. <laughs> Seems I need to find Mr. Lawley's cellar. This must be it. I'm sure this is fine with no consequences whatsoever. Just walk into it in plain daylight. No one will suspect a thing. And if they do, we shoot them. I mean, we cast magic. We don't shoot people. Thank God this is in America. I might have gotten shot, to be honest. This must be the cellar. How to find that venomous tentacular. There's 
my hiding ability again. Which one's hide? Do I not have it? Oh god. Uh, wait. Yeah, that's good. Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. I'm gonna make shit better. I'll test that out. Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. What could be stirring in the cellar? No. Must have been the spiders. Definitely. There it is. Good. Gold. Where is that venomous tentacle? Okay, it's further down. This is a really creepy place to have, man. Oh, there it is. Revelio. Damn. A little fucking workshop. And he's got spiders. Why? It's lagging, it's lagging. Why does he have so many spiders? Why the fuck does he have so many spiders? Nice, this is something I need in Mandrakes. Rebellion. I don't mind robbing him blind. Listen, he has all these spiders in this place. He deserves to be robbed blind. Revenue. Now that I have the venomous tentacular, I should return to Mr. Barnes. Can bring them. Do you need so many fucking spiders in your place? Well. There we go. Listen, if I'm gonna rob a man, I'm gonna take everything. Obviously. Make sure Revenue. there's no left. Ah, robbed and blind. Good. I could. Okay, I see. Hello, I'm Amora. Go through here now.
That one's real easy. Alright. Now that we've robbed someone blind, let's go find some missing letters, like a good Samar like the good Samaritan we are. Hopefully we're not gonna get fucked for doing this. Let us return. The good Samaritan we are. Hello, friend. Have you did that errand for me yet? Yes, here you go. Everything. Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacula. Ha! <laughs> Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. Let's see who's volatile now. Well done. I'll take it off your hands now. It wasn't as easy to come by as I had expected. I'd like to be paid for my troubles. <sighs> Only fair, I suppose. I can respect your business acumen. Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. I haven't been there yet. Thank you again for your help. I suspect you have a bright future. Five hundred. Hell yeah. Listen. When you're doing work, you don't do it for free. It's a big lock. There's Honey Dukes. Don't know what Honey Dukes is, but that's where it is. the stone. Yeah, that was actually a pretty good one. Alright, one more. Alright, so we went through a rock. Ooh, this way it was way there. It's telling me to go. Still not flying in this area. Let me fly soon. Oxmead Valley. Probably don't need to. I also don't need to walk across. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Stop right there! Good for you! Expel the Orbis! Is happening today. It likes to fucking freeze on me. I am still frozen. Interesting. It has not done that in a little while. We're just straight frozen. I've gotten choppy, but. Where I killed those duelists be where I'm supposed to. Where the deed is. Uh, letters, I think it is. I don't know why I said deed. Uh, friend indeed, that's why. Because that's what it was called. Ah, Upper Hogsfield. Now, where to find Mrs. Brottle? Oh, that was fast. 
Shane Bardolf thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Sirona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear Sirona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wiganwell potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Brottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk lumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The travelling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld Potion. Sirona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aidan died. He was hoping to go through it with Sirona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aidan took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. Right. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk lumps. I and the vendors I help would greatly appreciate it. Oh, I actually already have them, but this is... I like the music. Uh. Up a horse field has been terrorized by Ramrock's royal. It's not right. I'm quiet. I want to continue to help him. I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved Hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Bardo dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungo's. Simply at my wit's end. How did your brother Bardolf end up in St. Mungo's? <sighs> Bardolf had spent the entire day hand-picking herbs and roots for us. When a group of Ramrock's lot appeared and demanded the harvest for themselves, Bardolf refused. In their anger, they hurled him against a rock and robbed him. The moment he left St. Mungo's, he vowed revenge. I worry he may be dabbling in magic that he will one day regret. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury or worse. Please be cautious. I'll go through the front door. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. Should be, I think, uh... Bard of Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by... Excuse me. Did you say something about Bard of Beaumont? I know we just oh, met. Oh, hello again. How nice to see you. And yes, I did. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bard of. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. I shall. I shall risk it. Because I have no regard for my own safety. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. 
I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. Hopefully it's not one of the people I killed. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Have to. Let us go. This looks intriguing. There's actually something intriguing over there. Let's go deal with it yet. Nope, let's not deal with that. Nope, 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 nope. Those are zombies. Or the infinity. I'll stay away from those pieces of shit. Rebellion. Other oh, stuff up there. Hopefully I'll remember to get it next time. Confirm. These I can help. These I can handle. Expelliarmus! I can handle without that issue, they're just wolves. Ah, there's something there. Something over there. What are these? Interesting. I can't really deal with those. I'll survive. You know what? It's been a while. Let's see how we do it next Oh, ho, 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 ho. Fuck you, bitches. Give me that tongue. Oof. Still have trouble with those fuckers. I don't know what it is about their attacks, but they get me every time. There's no way. As long as I don't see it, I'm good. Just don't let me see it. Yep, nothing there. That was just a human. Just a human. Just a human. Just a human. Don't tell me anything different, it was just a fucking human. Fuck. Oh, it's one of these. <laughs> Something's in there. I might end it with that dungeon crawl. No! 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 Why? Why? No, no, no. Fuck. 
Why? Why would you do that? Channel entry one or two. I hate that I'm framed, but there's no going back. I seem to have mastered two of the curses so far, but I've had to pledge to do their bidding if I'm to learn more. Can't let them see my fear. They're already whispering behind my back. I've been told not to trust dark wizards, but I can't stop until I have enough magic to protect Claire, myself, and all of Upper Heart. An Box entry field. from Bardolph's journal. He overheard whispers, a plan, something to do with him. Okay. I'm not sure if we're back to there, but I Rebellion. saw something in blue. Right here. Journal entry 202. I'm repulsed by what I have just witnessed. They have created an infernus. A corpse mutilated come to life. I tried to hide my hoarder at what I was seeing. Alas, I think they saw through me. I need to convince them I'm not a spy and I'm here to not here to undermine them. If I do not, I fear I this could be next. This mentions in theory, and something about it being Bardolph's turn next. Confringo! Expelliarmus! Cabalso! I just hit the bird. I don't even know how to tame them yet. Rebellion. All right, fuck me, man. Oh, yeah. What's the chess piece that was weak? This one, destroy. All right. Let's get the hell make sure that's everything. Rebellion. Can bring them. There we go. Alright, that's it. Okay. Good enough. So this is where some of the uh, fun items are. Fun items are. All the fun items. Rebellion. Yep. Oh, look at all that deliciousness. Oh gosh! <laughs> Fuck my life. What the hell, man? What type of pathing is that? Just yeeted myself off the edge, off a cliff, off of everything. What the fuck? Oh. Rebellion. Pumpkin fizz. All right, thank you. That didn't seem too interesting, so I didn't want to read it. Probably some pumpkin juice. No, 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 no. Why? Why do you keep doing that? Fuck me, man. 
This health is a death trap, man. I have to pay fucking attention, and I didn't want to. <sighs> Again. I have died more times to pathing than I have to anything else in this game so far. Alright, no sprint. That's fine. Stop! Stop! St oh my god, you piece of shit. Uh, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. I'm fucking out. I'm not gonna die to this pathing path again. Oh my god, that almost killed me again. Nope, I'm out. 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 I also need to... Saw some more shit. That's fine. Go. Go. Probably more, more beneficial to sell them, but I'm also really lazy. I could probably sell some oh, shit here. I do hope my brother is all right. Madame Beaumont. I believe I have some news of your brother. Badov? What do you know of my brother? I regret to say that Badov had been turned into an inferior. It's with this music. And I had to kill him. What? But but how could you possibly think that an inferior was my brother Badov? That's absurd. He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand knitted. <gasps> I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madam Beaumont. <laughs> what more could I have done? Oh, Madoff! What is with this creepy music one? Two, you gotta always have to Badolf. do that. It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. Yo, I know you're crying, but I need to sell some shit. I should have done more. Has the situation with Ranrock's loyalists improved? I'm afraid not. I fear my brother is only one of many who will have suffered at their hands by the time they move on. If they ever do. Nope. Mind I can't yourself sell shit. beyond our borders. Ranrock's loyalists have taken hold here. Revelio. Oh, fuck it. Let me end it here, I think. Let me, uh... Do a quest. Activate a quest. Breaking camp. So just... So, we'll start the next mission. Next week. With, hopefully, 200% last zombies, because we need to get rid of these last two episodes. God damn it. But that is all from me, so I shall be signing off now.